um, I was sent um, a sample of some some material uh, by a gentleman. He actually brought it down to me rather than shipping it. But uh, it was some uh, failed smelting that his son tried, and uh, he couldn't get it couldn't get it melted. I don't know if it wasn't enough heat or they just didn't have a good grasp of what he was doing but uh, anyway it was up to me to try to figure this stuff out and I I milled it and got enough metal out of it to uh, to uh, to melt directly without flux and uh, so this is what I got out of it and you can tell by the color that it's not um, good copper and it's got copper in it of course because it looks like brass I wanted a, a one pound sample I wound up a little more a little more than a pound but um, the uh, you know, by comparison this is some of my material this is out of chips uh, this is copper from uh, um, chip material like IC chips that's had the iron removed. This is just copper. So uh, this is some of my material. Now this is some of my material right here. Okay, and uh, one of the biggest differences between this stuff. Besides uh, the obvious color difference, because this looks more like brass, and of course this looks more like copper. And that's because this is really copper. This is contaminated. It's got a lot of silver in it. This is going to be somewhere between two and three percent silver, with traces of gold, and. This has got a lot of uh, iron in it because you can take a magnet, like a strong magnet like this, and uh, and magnet sticks. And it's not a real strong attraction because this is a really strong magnet, and if I mean it's got a really strong pull on it and he really had to struggle to get it off a piece of steel but so this is moderately magnetic not strongly magnetic so that lets me know that it's got definitely got some iron in it this is not magnetic at all. So that tells me that this is mostly copper. This has got a lot of uh, a lot of iron in it. This this has actually got more gold in it though than this does because I really. Um, work this really hard to get the gold out of it so this is uh this was refined as best i could to uh to reclaim the gold out of it now, this is melted in my furnace i poured it in a one of those little uh novelty ashtray little cast iron skillet novelty ashtrays um you know, i got I got stacks of this stuff. <clears throat> I've shined this up with a brush. Shined this up with a brush. This vanity had writing on the bottom of it, embossed in some furniture company. But uh, anyway, now this is what I'm going to be up against in this, and I think. I'm just going to have to, because he's got a 55 gallon drum full of this stuff. And unless it is really exceptional, I'm just going to have to pass on this. 
because now that it's in this form unless I can part it directly and I don't think it's enough co copper content to part directly I'm going to have to remelt this cornflake it add more copper to it and smelt it using uh, borax soda ash and uh, a little bit of uh, sodium nitrate to put the iron in the flux and I want to oxidize that iron so the flux can absorb it <clears throat> so this is going to be it's going to have to be smelted and if I have to melt it first then smelt it later and so many different steps just to get it into a workable metal that I can part like this you know if it were anything like this it would it would be ready to go right now this is ready to go in a parting cell and this is still got I've still got to work on this so it's going to be really difficult to get any profit out of it if I, unless it's exceptional like I said if this is because we've got a lot of uh, parts you can see the parts uh, that come out of this material that you can see the bodies of these many of them many bodies like this that's in this material so um, I'm going to go ahead and process I said I got this pound I'm gonna go ahead and process this and uh, the the actual sample itself was about 40 pounds of this stuff but that's everything that <clears throat> that includes the the uh, non-metallic part of it as well so by my best estimate it could be 20 pounds of metal in it so I'm going to use this one pound sample and see what comes out of it and then that will give me a good estimate of what the metal content is going to be and then I'll know whether or not it's worth pursuing or not um, but anyway this is as far as I got on the the little smelting problem that I had um, and hopefully you know I'll be able to uh, figure this out and if it's if it's good um, precious metal content then you know I might be able to make something off of it if not I'll just have to tell the man I'm sorry I just I can't deal with it it's just too much effort and not enough payout of course my stuff <clears throat> I'm gonna be doing my stuff regardless because mine's gonna be pure profit it doesn't matter what comes out of it it's gonna be profit <clears throat>